Hi, I'm Christiana Della Russo, VP of Commercialization at the WBBA. We're here at Life Science Innovation Northwest 2014 with Dr. Helen Ralph, who is Senior Vice President of Strategy and Innovation at Phillips Healthcare. So I wanted Phil Helen is going to speak this afternoon on the last panel of the day about seismic shifts in healthcare. And so I wanted to start off first just by asking you about Phillips Healthcare and your role in strategy and innovation in that organization. Great. Well, thank you, Christiana. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. I'd like to thank the WBBA for inviting me to take part. Um, from what I've seen, this is a, a fantastic conference, and I'm looking forward to the panel this afternoon. Um, Philips Healthcare is a global uh, health and well-being company. I think a lot of people know us as a device company, a company that makes x-ray equipment, ultrasounds, MR. But the changes in healthcare are changing how we approach the whole space of healthcare in the US and in the world as a whole. Um, maybe another little note before I go a bit more into what I do. We actually have a, a long history with the North Met, Northwest. Um, we have a site here in Bothell with nearly 2,000 people um, working in ultrasound, working in defibrillators and in our oral healthcare business. Um, personally, I spent some of my early career in the site here working in ultrasound and we've had a long connection with the uh, ecosystem around Seattle, with the University of Washington and also with a number of other companies. And in actual fact, I've just started uh, a new collaborative effort with the University of Washington, part of the uh, ecosystem here, to build out on the future of healthcare. So you asked me about my role. Um, I'm very lucky. I've uh, been uh, an innovator myself. I had a chance to run one of our global research labs. And I also got a chance to run a business. So what I do today is link those two together and work out what it is we need to do across healthcare in strategy and innovation. So the topic we have this afternoon about how are the shifts in healthcare going to shift and change our view on innovation is, is really near and dear to my heart. Thank you. So I don't want to give away too much for this afternoon. I want to save everything for the panel, but if you could just give us a little bit of a peek, because I think what we're going to talk about this afternoon is how our global companies, and more specifically global device companies mm -hmm. like Philips, starting to adapt or have been adapting or looking in the future at adapting to these, these huge shifts in healthcare. Yeah, so I think I always go back to what are the fundamental things that are going on in healthcare? So we have an aging population everywhere globally. Um, that aging population is unfortunately also a sicker population. You know, the rise of chronic disease um, has an impact everywhere in the world. We don't take good care of ourselves. And we also are at a point where the number of specialists is being reduced across the world. So we have uh, a delivery problem in healthcare, we have a disease problem, and consequently we have a cost problem. And that's what's driving the shifts we see in healthcare today. Um, for us, it's about shifting from delivering just products, an MR machine I talked about before, or X-ray, that people know us for, to producing solutions. So still having that kind of technology and clinical core, adding to it, the services, adding to it data, and most importantly, co-creating with others. So I talked earlier about collaborating with the network here in the uh, Seattle area. We're collaborating and co-creating with customers and other innovators everywhere around the world. Because in the end, we've got to improve those clinical outcomes. We have to reduce the cost of care, and we're only going to be able to do it together. There's no way we're going to be able to do it separately. So you, you mentioned a lot of problems in healthcare, obviously, that, that we're all dealing with. So where there's many problems, there's always opportunity for potential solutions. So speaking more to the upstart entrepreneurial community in the Northwest and across the country, what are some areas that you see are really ripe for disruption and opportunity that entrepreneurs should be looking at a little bit more closely? I think it's interesting because we're at a period where the entrepreneurs, we need them to keep looking at the core clinical technical problems. We still need to be focusing on eradicating diseases. We still need to be focusing on technologies that will di disrupt how we treat, how we diagnose. But on top of that, we're changing where we deliver care. This is because you know the, the problem I talked about of, say, less uh, specialized 
personnel being available. We're moving care into other settings, for example, like the home. So the role of each of us as patients or consumers is getting much, much larger. So one of the interesting trends to me is, some people call it digital health, some call it consumer healthcare. How do we manage the transitions from the professional hospital environment to the home environment? And those are areas where I think we need totally different innovations. We have to think about managing people's behavior. We have to have people change how they do things. Well, thank you so much. I want to thank Dr. Ralph for being with us at Life Science Innovation Northwest this year. We're really looking forward to the panel this afternoon. Like I said, I don't want to give too much away. So uh, we're going to sign out. Thank you so much. Great. Thank you.